One week later, and the fire trucks are gone. The gas lines have been fixed. But people who lived in houses like this one need a different remedy. It was just crazy to see something that's so close to home. Chris Trent lives in Menor and helped donate to the pile of goods intended for the nearly two dozen people who lost their homes. I hope it's just going to sit around our house, you know, give it to people who need it more than us. And the community's reaction has been remarkable. This is what they've been able to collect in just one week, stored for now on the stage at Fairport Harding High School. I didn't know there was that many people in Fairport, um, but people from all kinds of communities have been coming in, dropping off stuff. Teachers here say students from Harding have been doing their part to organize the blankets, clothes, pots, coats, and toys for their neighbors who were left with nothing. A lot of kids have asked to help out, and we've come down just about every day last week. And while the good deeds stack up and many students navigate the piles, one student out of the 300 or so kids tries to avoid the stage. It's just hard. And then walking past the auditorium every day, that just, it brings it all back. That's Holly Myers, a ninth grader, and this is her house. Holly was in her home eating breakfast when an explosion took everything. She's the only person at that school directly affected in that way. She's a very strong teenage girl. We're going to have her story coming up.